Trump laying down the law when it comes to immigration. The time has come for new immigration rules which say that those seeking admission into our country must be able to support themselves financially and should not use welfare for a period of at least five years. Some might say that sounds extreme, right? Well, he can never win Democrat support, but what if we told you it has been done before under the Clinton administration. Joining us now to debate, the president of the Federation of American Immigration Reform, Dan Stein, and journalist and radio talk show host, Jamila Bay. Dan, I'm gonna start with you. First off, we've heard this before. Why did we not have such anger and vitriol toward President Clinton when he came up with this idea? Well, Bill Clinton understood where the center of the issue was and the Democratic Party was very different, right? I mean. What right now with the Democrats is collective stupid 24-7. But back then, Bill Clinton understood the dynamics of the issue. But remember, when the Republicans took Congress in 1994, first time practically in, in my lifetime, one of their first priorities on the legislative hit parade, ban legal immigrants from welfare for five years. And they passed that law. Bill Clinton signed it uh, for means-tested cash-based federal assistance. Problem is, we got immigrants pouring into the country who have such poor education skill levels in a high value added information society that welfare use is skyrocketing and there's all kinds of loopholes. So now if your bathtub's overflowing, you don't pick up a spoon, you turn off the spigot. So what, what Trump promised in the campaign was cutting levels of immigration down to a more refined, highly skilled flow that wouldn't need welfare at the same levels. Jamila, your response? You know, and a broken clock is right twice a day. I don't think that's a bad policy. My issue, however, is that, the, uh, you know, Dan, Dan's right. There are a number of loopholes that just make this sound as though uh, Trump doesn't really understand the way politics works right now. Welfare is a welfare reform and welfare policy is reserved to the state. So depending on where an immigrant goes, California, New York, the Washington, D.C. area, those benefits are going to be completely different. If an immigrant puts their child into, say, a Title I school, taxpayers are paying for all of the children at that school to get breakfast, to get lunch. If the child or, or a young immigrant um, qualifies for health assistance under the children's insurance programs, if the immigrant becomes pregnant at some point and says, I can't afford health care, there are programs in the states that are going to step in and fill that but, but Jamila, if I can regardless. interrupt you for a second, you're referencing children. The way I read what President Trump wants to do, and to a sense what President Clinton wanted to do, was really cut off this problem at the pass before the immigrants ultimately get here so that right. we then don't have to worry about the issue immigrants of their children. Immigrants bring their families, though. Let's be real. Immigrants, it's not one lone person. They're, people come to this country and they have families while they're here. They bring family members over. And to and to not recognize that, the, that a sizable perspective a sizable proportion of those who receive welfare benefits are under 18. You can't just Dan, say, well, this immigrant has a job. Well, Dan, this immigrant your comes and has five kids. Look, look, look. Basically, it goes all the way back to Massachusetts Bay in 1685 and in our federal law in 1917 that if you are likely to become a public charge, means need welfare, use welfare, based on your education, assets, income, you can't come in unless you have a sponsor who's going to guarantee that you won't become a problem for the taxpayer. That law is never enforced. Donald Trump is signaling he's going to start enforcing the public charge bar. And he's also signaling he's going to start enforcing when immigrants come here and because it, for foreseeable reasons start immediately applying for benefits, they're going to be deported based on the public charge bar. But in the end, the solution is reduce immigration, improve the skills composition by mandating postgraduate a degree, tech education, much lower levels. That's what Donald Trump promised, and he needs to fulfill his campaign promises before starting down a whole new track of legislative initiative. Jamila Dan, got to leave it here. Thanks so much for being with Thanks. us this morning.